So how important is ear training for saxophone players? You'll get the answer in this video. Hey, Donna here from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to bring your saxophone playing up to the next level. So I had a question from a YouTube subscriber and he was asking about ear training and is it important for saxophone players? And I wrote, oh my God, yes. <laughs> Here's why. Um, let's say you have a piece of music. Uh, I've got this, this actually scale anthology from Miles Oslin. You can kind of see the cover from there. It's pretty psychedelic, all right, pretty cool. I'll put a link in the show notes for you. Um, so if I wanted to play any of these, you know, examples, uh, let's say even if it's just a scale. <laughs> Well, a scale is pretty simple in the fact that the notes are one step away from each other, right? Okay, but what if I have big jumps? Okay, so let's say I have an arpeggio. Okay, so like uh, one of the ones that, that he has written here. All right, well, at first that's going to be really complicated to do, especially if you don't have enough experience playing arpeggios, whether it's figuring them out by ear or you know reading them through books like the Rubang series and stuff so what may happen at first when you're playing these arpeggios you may get uh well it may be tr tricky to read but you also may um sound flat or sharp in some of the pitches <laughs> Okay, I tried to make that pretty flat on the top because what I was trying to emulate was the fact that I wasn't hearing them. So the whole point is that if you're able to hear, for example, a major third, and on here, you're going to be more likely when you're looking at the black dots on the page to be able to hear that or get close to hearing that in your head. Um, if you're able to hear the full arpeggio, whether it's individual notes or as a chord, it's also going to help you to slot the notes better, play more in tune. And, you know, the thing is that a lot of people think you press down a key on the saxophone, the note just automatically comes out, you're all good. It doesn't work that way. <clears throat> you have to be able to have a good idea of what that pitch should sound like before you play it. But the hard thing is that if you're just beginning or even if you've been playing for a number of years, um, and you don't have so much time to practice or, you know, you're just playing for fun, you're not quite aware of what that pitch should sound like. And again, this is another reason, another way that ear training is really going to help you. So yes, ear training, I think is vital for saxophone players. In fact, to be honest with you, it's vital for any musician. Now, does that mean you've got to practice hours and hours of ear training every day? No. I'm just going to be going to give you one quick, simple tip listen to some of your favorite songs on the radio and as you're hearing the melody shut the radio off and sing it back and see how close you were to replicating that melody at first you're not going to be it's going to suck <laughs> it's a bottom line it just will but after doing it for a while you're going to get closer and closer okay so use music as your guide and as you're listening to the music sing these melodies but definitely uh, start getting into ear training and for those of you that do have the time I would definitely suggest studying your intervals. Definitely studying your intervals, um, studying chords, and studying them in a musical context. And I think that will really help boost your playing to the next level. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you want more quick tips, check out my website, DonnaSchwartzMusic.com. And on that note, take care. Have a great day. <laughs>